he said this word, he's as good as the one in Elspreet? Um, yeah, I think there was a couple of special wins uh, this year, and uh, but yeah, we haven't we haven't got a result yet. I think since 2014, and you know it's a quality side, and, and it's a tough place to come and get a result. And myself and Sia said, now I think it's your first first, first result here, yeah, and obviously mine as well. So yes, it was very special. What's been right in this game? And completely if you look back at the it at the France Island games where things were done right but the results were coming. But in this game it was a there were mistakes made but the results came in the end of the day. I think I think the the one thing uh, it, it's, it's a cliche but I think the forwards were outstanding today. They they gave us a nice platform to attack off and, and I think then the, the backs used their opportunities, you know, when they when they got that new platform. So I thought uh, it was a team effort in terms of the forwards really laying a nice foundation for us in the backs uh, having a game. Uh, Doc, you said this week that you wanted it, you know, the rest of the rugby world gave you guys enough respect. Did you earn that today? Yeah, well, I, 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 like I said uh, in the week, uh, that's a narrative or something that you can put as much energy into that trying to earn respect but people drive narratives that they will drive. So as long as we stay truthful in terms of uh, where we are and what we are trying to do, and we remind you, uh, ourselves about that, uh, that, that putting energy into that will, will actually have a change. Trying to put energy, my, my experience in the past is trying to put energy into people that you don't have any control over. I don't think it will have any. What I said last week, there's nothing I think we have been faced this year. Um, you know, we, we had a red card before, so we, we prepared for it. And Paul has said to the guys, nothing changed. We just keep on going and we just work harder for one another. That was the big message. They already knew. So <clears throat> you just have to work for an extra man, um, each and every single guy on the team. And I thought um, having eight forwards made it a little bit easier for us. So it was a great call from the coaches. Because we know it's going to be a contest in the scrum with a tight table. So we, we, yeah, we just felt good and we knew that we're just going to stay out of the breakdown. The guys that are capable of going in, and like Malcolm, you know, and Kitty, you know, they did go, but we just didn't want to work hard and get stuck in. And, but our wing plan is not going to change. It's just that when, when the other wing, you know, just moving to the other side. So, yeah, we were prepared for it because we had faced it. Jack, were you expecting a were you expecting a sterner challenge from Edward today? I think that was a quite emphatic win. No, I think I think it was a stern challenge. I mean, we need to get our stuff right um, on the day. Uh, no, it was definitely. Uh, I think you look. At, I don't even know what the scoreline was. I mean, it was a thing for me up to the, the end. You know, um, they, we all saw what England's capable of last weekend. You know. Um, they, they came back. So, I, I, from from our side, from the coaching box, we, we knew they had the ability in them, like they did last week. Um, you you never you never comfortable. We actually pushed hard to try and get territory to try and get another score because we felt it was a little bit too close. Um, but yeah, happy for the, for the guys uh, stuck in and, and, and pulling it off at the end. Jock, uh, did the box get a pass mark from you on tour? Um, I think yeah, I said it to the team now afterwards, probably one of the most enjoyable four weeks that I've had, although we only won 50% of our games. I thought in terms of uh, the working relationship between the coaching staff, between the staff, the performance staff, between the players, uh, our game drivers, I thought there was clarity. Um, I, it, what it, I, I thought we really gelled well. So although we didn't get the results in the first two games on tour, um, I, I thought we were in with a chance. Um, so yeah, I think it, it was enjoyable. We, we were creative in terms of the plans we made and, and uh, we stuck with it and we, um, yeah, we, we, we gave it a good go. So I think in terms of that, um, and there was a lot of other enjoyable uh, times, but I thought this group, this four games, um, they, they, they really came up with great ownership from a player's point of view, from a management point of view, um, so, and, and that was quite pleasing.